That wasn't so bad, was it? For this project, you will need a carrier, a wooden dowel, or a piece of wood as a perch, a saw to cut the dowel to length. You will also need screws and a drill to attach the perch into the crate. You will need zip ties, window screen, duct tape. You will need a bowl to attach to the door to use as water in case of an emergency and the bird is stuck in cargo for an extended period of time. Otherwise, you're going to supply water in the form of fruit. Grapes, apples, and celery work very well. You'll need a puppy pad to mine the bottom of the crate. And then you'll need seeds or pellets, whichever the bird may be eating. By assembling the crate, you open up these clips. So this came from Walmart. You can get crates similar to this plastic kettle carriers from any of the big pet stores, tractor supply, or from Amazon. I'm going to take this off. Here's the, the door and the paperwork. Very importantly are the screws. The airlines require that the crate be screwed together, not just relying on the clips. Furthermore, they also require that you zip tie the crate together. They, they have lots of requirements. You check on with the airlines that you are using and you follow their rules and their instructions and do exactly as they tell you to do and you'll not have any issues. So with the crate disassembled, cut your perch to fit a couple inches up off the bottom of the crate and then you're going to screw in from the outside into the, the perch to affix it to the crate. It's hard to do this with just one hand. It's not even a possibility. <laughs> so that is firmly affixed. You could put a washer on the outside. That might even work better. But this is going to be just fine. So now we're going to put the door in place. Like that. Get this set on top. I'm going to have to have both hands for this, on I? Yeah. I'll come back in just a moment. Okay, so currently it's held together just with the clips. There are holes at each of the corners for the bolts. And also, through the middle of the clip, from top to bottom, is a place for a zip tie. And so that's what I'm going to do next. It comes with the bolts. You have to buy the zip ties separately. Thankfully they just tightened down my hand. Just like that. So now we're going to put the zip ties in. Uh, And they go through just like that and the purpose is to keep this from opening up I suppose uh, the airlines have their own rules you know each airline may be different you check with whichever airline you're using this is going through Delta cargo and again I only have one hand to do this with come on there we go. Well, I'll come back. So there you see, we have the perch installed, we have the bolts installed, and now we have the zip ties installed. I'm going to cut these off, and then next, 
the window screen. I know y'all were asking, why do you have to have window screens? The airlines require that you cover over all of these openings on the sides and the back, and especially this door on the front with window screens. Now, it's my understanding this is not to protect the bird in any way, but it is to protect the airline employees from sticking their finger in and going Gucci Gucci Goo and the bird biting them. So, there's that. So, it's as simple as just cutting a piece to fit, and then we're going to use good quality duct tape to affix it to the crate. Seriously, the worst part about this is taping on the the window screen. You don't want to cover these because you want the airline agent to see that you are in compliance. You did follow the rules. So if you tape over that, then they're not going to be able to see that. But both sides are done. Now I have to do this back part and then the front. I'll just get rid of that. So, honestly, this is the worst part of all of it, is trying to cover this door with screen. I'm just no good at it. I'm actually horrible at it. But, that's what we got. So now I'm going to mount that, that bow right here. Okay, there's that. It's actually done lower than I said. What you want to do is make sure that it will open and close. That's very important. So now I'm going to put a, a wheelie pad in the bottom. I'm going to cover the whole bottom with seed. And I'm going to put apples and grapes in this cup. It's important that it's affixed to the front because they can poke a hole in and add water to the cup if there's an extended layover or a delay. So I've got seed all over the bottom, and I know you're going to say, Robert, that bird's just going to poop on that seed. Yeah, probably. You're absolutely right. And you know, honestly, she probably won't even sit on the perch. Probably just going to stay on the bottom. But that's okay, too. We're following the regulations. You check with whatever airline you're using, and you, you do what they tell you to do. Now, I have grapes and apples in here. One last thing I've done before I put the seed and grapes and stuff in, I didn't show it. I wrapped two layers of tape all the way around the box. And I have drilled holes here and at each of the four corners of the door. And I'll put zip ties through those. Um, always take extra zip ties, extra duct tape, and a pair of scissors with you to the airport when you go. Don't take them into the airport with you, but if you need to make any final adjustments, if they say you need to add another zip tie or something, you can have that um, available. You're going to want to make sure that you get there several hours before the flight is scheduled to depart, uh, usually at least two hours beforehand. And the only thing left is to put the bird in and put the final zip ties on. And head to the airport. I don't have the bird that I'm shipping. I'm actually picking up the bird that Sarah has bought. And then I'm going to drop it off at the airport for her. She's made all the arrangements. I'm just kind of acting as the middleman transport for her. So, see you at the airport. In Gardendale, Alabama. We're on our way north of... The people I'm meeting, they live in Coleman, so we're going to meet in Warrior, Alabama. Okay, I found a nice quiet parking lot, I hope, where I can get her out of her travel cage and put her into the carrier, and then we'll go, go to the airport. So here she is. Isn't she beautiful? She is an African gray parrot, but she's not your typical Congo African gray parrot. She's actually the much harder to find, much rarer, Timney African Grey. They're smaller, much smaller, and they have a darker maroon colored tail instead of the bright red that the Congo Greys have. I think she's beautiful. Look at her. 
You think she's going to bite me when I try to get her out? Well, only one way to find out. That wasn't so bad, was it? She said, easy for you to say. She is so pretty. So there she is. It looks like a starfish. All zip tied shut. There's construction going on. I hope you can hear me. I'm going to cut these tabs off of the, the zip ties and then we'll be set. Okay, it is done. They would not let me record in there. Don't know why they didn't want to be on my YouTube videos. Probably because they were dressed up like Thing 1 and Thing 2 or some other kind of weird cartoon character. Who knows? But, uh, it's time for me to test my blood sugar and get something to eat for lunch and go back home to Pell City. Had too much fun in Birmingham today. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. You got to keep your business off of Facebook. You got to keep your business off of Facebook. Well, you can talk about me all that you please I'll talk about you when I'm on my knees All my sins are washed away I've been redeemed Well, I'm saved and sanctified And I know that I am Yes, I'm saved and sanctified And I know that I am I'm My hand in the Master's hand My soul is anchored Jesus can. Well, I'm trading my sorrows. I'm trading my shame. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. I know it. I know it. His blood has set me free. I've been delivered, forgiven. Fear has got no hold on me. No holding back. Not living life my own way. No holding back till I see him face to face because I know it. Oh yes, I know it. The blood of Jesus has set me 